That being said, figure eight, variation of hydrocarbon emissions with H2O2 percentage. Clearly, showing as percentage increases, hydrocarbons in parts per million decrease. Peer-reviewed scientific journal published, accredited university. Figure nine. This is one item of contention that I have. I'm not arguing with the data. Clearly shows that NOx rises with an increase in percentage of H2O2. And as I have discussed, NOx is the worst emission. The point of contention I have is that this data is not 100% conclusive. Because, as I clearly demonstrated with my GenSet videos, if you lower the exhaust gas temperature, you can reduce your NOx emissions by virtue of the fact that NOx is formed due to high combustion temperatures of 2400 degrees Fahrenheit and above. That is also a known and published fact. Therefore, I propose that to deal with the NOx increase, that an individual can use water fogging to cool the combustion temperature or can adjust air fuel ratios to reduce combustion temperatures. There are a multitude of methods that can be used to cool down the combustion temperature to lower these NOx emissions. I did not see in this study where that was addressed. So in my further research on my own, I will be addressing keeping the combustion temperatures low to keep NOx emissions low. Figure 10, the variation of CO2 with hydrogen and oxygen percentage clearly shows the same thing as the hydrocarbons graph. Same with um, the CO, all reduced. So this paper concludes, hydrogen, which has about nine times higher flame speed than diesel, has the ability to enhance overall combustion generating higher peak pressure closer to top dead center, resulting in more work. Power equals energy over time. Thank you very much. And the crowd cheers. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Epic victory. <sighs> exactly everything that I have been telling you guys from day one. Watch Free energy over unity and why HHO works. I exactly specifically address the issue of timing, of power, and energy. I have posted this thousands of times on the internet. I have argued over and over again. These are the concepts that cause HHO to be a viable technology that works. I'm going to read the statement again. A scientific study done by an accredited university peer-reviewed and published in a scientific journal. Hydrogen, which has about nine times higher flame speed than diesel, has the ability to enhance overall combustion, generating higher peak pressure closer to top dead center, resulting in more work. End of story. Again, please hold your applause till the end of the show. Epic victory! This peer-reviewed, publicly published scientific study is in direct conflict with personal accusations and claims made by individuals who are not peer-reviewed, who have not published a scientific paper in an accredited journal by a reputable university, using grossly insufficient BTU calculations to try and prove that hydrogen injection doesn't work using a simple, rudimentary, Neanderthalic BTU calculation method. This paper, this peer-reviewed, published scientific paper, goes against those personal claims made through insufficient, inadequate calculations that HHO does work. Claims made by an angry individual saying that HHO industry is a scam, that the technology is not viable, and that we're all lying. The University of South Australia respectfully disagrees with your opinion. And not only do they disagree with your opinion, but they have presented peer-reviewed scientific data with accepted test protocol. Thank you very much. 
and top-notch equipment saying that your claims and your accusations are unfounded until there is a peer-reviewed scientific study done by an accredited university that can show that HHO injection does not work, I am going to take this peer-reviewed, published, scientific journal done by a study from an accredited university. I'm going to take their word for it. And I'm going to continue with my HHO research in stationary gensets to be applied to electric vehicles with onboard charging systems. This is a viable technology, it's proven, and therefore there is no reason why it should not be pursued further. And that is exactly what I intend to do. No amount of skepticism, false BTU calculations or accusations will be able to stop this valid moral research that is desperately needed to be done for the betterment of all mankind. I intend to do that no matter what the opposition and I intend to continue to add more supporting evidence as it becomes available. This paper was brought to my attention by Jake who has a master's degree in engineering and he has posted some videos about this document and some other documents that he has found and he is doing a thesis on HHO injection. So I want to give my appreciation and thanks to Jake for contributing to the HHO community and doing uh, very scientific analysis on this technology and bringing to our attention these very important studies that back up what we have seen in real world testing. Go to my site, smackboosters.110mb.com, and please donate to the H2 EV Air project. A viable, demonstrable series EV hybrid with an onboard generator running with HHO boosting, charging, and fuel vaporization technology. Put your sock puppets down and your manure shovels away! Epic victory! Thank you for watching.